So happy Monday to you. We start today with some toast and a vacuum. Kind of losing its mind over there, but that's okay. It's a sunny day. It's Monday. Let's go get our week started, shall we? You have a bowl full of water. Hello, friends. Monday, April the 10th, on an absolutely gorgeous, picture-perfect, blue sky, no cloud, Monday, day after Easter, all recovering from our Easter basket candy, jelly beans, and all that fun. I am here at 11.50 a.m., getting ready to go pick up a couple things. We're going to run into Dick's Sporting Goods, see if they have an elbow guard for our little slugger. And then uh, pick up Olive Garden and bring it home. So, uh, good day so far. Busy day so far. Obviously, Mondays are the busiest of the busy. I think there's a Yeti cup right there in the middle of the of the road. Anyway, uh, Monday is the busiest of the busy days. So, uh, you know, just kind of how it is. And it's been a good day so far. It's a beautiful day. We're already uh, working with a couple of my assistant coaches planning baseball tonight. Cannot wait to get outside. We go from 6.30 to 8, and it's going to be... A perfect evening so we're gonna go pick up some lunch I'll show you what we got I'll show you what we get at Dick's uh, if there's anything else interesting in there I was watching an old um, a vlogger that we watch some of his old videos and they would be um, this is six seven years ago walking through Target with their camera up or, or Dick's or um, Walmart just with their camera up kind of showing everything and everybody and it's just funny how things have changed over the last few years I think um, Technically, you can you can you can vlog in stores if you're not showing other people. There's a bunch of different rules, and it's really really interesting if you kind of look into it. Um, there's a bunch of different things. Um, technically, it's their property, so you can't really film on it. But um, they 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 usually allow you to if you're like in your own aisle, things like that. Um, so basically, just trying to um, not only stay uh, without getting in trouble, like we did a couple places, but um, I really don't like to go and just show all these other people that are on camera that aren't really asking to. So when we go into these stores, if I don't do any uh, recording, it's because of that. It's not because I don't love you guys and don't want to show you what we're up to. And I know you're dying to see what we buy at the store. Uh, but that's just kind of my method of madness. I don't want to show anybody on camera that doesn't want to be and um, try to keep it where it's just me and, um, you know, what we buy. Well, bad news is we got Johnny Mellencamp on the old uh, radio. We're turning down. They had uh, the guards for your ankle and, and knee and uh, thumb guard, but they did not have an elbow guard. It was right there and fortunately empty. So there's another Dick's in the town next to ours. Um, we might try that sometime. I don't know if we're going to get there today. But, uh, yeah, it's baseball season. So the the pickings were kind of uh, they were kind of slim. Not many bats there. Um, a lot of gloves. Just, it's that time of the year. Everybody's getting started, even uh, like the uh, recreational leagues and stuff like that. So, um, you know, when you want gear in season, it's tough to get sometimes. Here we go, a little off garden. We got uh, a little baked ziti. Is this baked ziti or five cheesy? Five cheesy. Just five cheesy, you're not baked. We got a mound of breadsticks, some gnocchi soup, and some Alfredo sauce. So there is our, uh, there's our. Delicious lunch ahead of us. A lot of breadsticks, and they're a little burnt, but there. Look at this amazing day. Continues to be beautiful. Putting some trash in the trash can, and our yard still has not been mowed. So it's getting longer by the minute, but that's okay. Well, here we go. We fired up the grill for the first time in the spring. Looks a little, looks different on camera. Can tell right here and right here is where we cook all the time and uh yeah it's just infrared we've had this infrared grill for years it's taken a beating it's fallen off patios but it still works fantastic let's go cook here we go like a little sizzle A little Monday afternoon sizzle for you. About halfway done. 
Throw some cheese on them in a few minutes. We are uh, pretty close to the airport, as you know, living on the west side. And there's a uh, southwest headed north. Literally. So we kind of got the back patio cleaned up a little bit. Got the uh, chairs wiped off. Pillows turned around, ready to roll. Found a bunch of leaves from the fall. So those will have to blow away. But yeah, we're going to spend some, uh, some cool spring, summer evenings out here. Look at this. We made some fries in the air fryer with some... What seasoning would you use? What do you do? Red Robin seasoning. Red Robin seasoning on some fries, some frozen fries. And then there is our burger. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Nice little meal before baseball. Look at this evening. Sitting right here. Around the non-existent fire. With the lights on. Beautiful. April sky. You can see. We had a good baseball practice, and uh, now we're back. All right, we got done with baseball, got home, and it's already 8.30, 8.45 actually. So getting ready to start the old evening wind down, but it was a good day, good night. Um, we had uh, most of our baseball team there, which was great. Some were missing because they, uh, sorry, I had a call there. Um, so I'll just boop. <clears throat> Some of our team is missing because they play middle school ball. And uh, those games are usually through the week so that the kids can go play with their club team, like ours, on the weekend. We, in our community, don't even have middle school ball. It's really weird. Everybody else around here does, and we don't. So um, it was good practice. It was fun. Good to see the kids. Good to get back out. And uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we're ready to play this weekend. It's going to be exciting. There's our nifty little trash can we bought next to some vacuums, where the vacuum goes. We got to rearrange over here, but how about that? Perfect little spot for it. Perfect. Our Monday has come to a close. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. Um, it was a good day. We had uh, Olive Garden for lunch, which was a ton of food. Um, had the burgers for dinner, which were amazing. Cooked those on the grill. The fries were fantastic. Cooked those in the air fryer with some, um, some oil and then a lot of the uh, Red Robin seasoning. So it was very, very good. Um, yeah. Then we went to baseball. Baseball was great. It was an hour and a half of uh, nice weather, I think good to be outside, and then came back, relaxed outside for a few minutes, and then we watched a new show on Netflix called The Night Agent. It's really, really good. The acting is, hmm, the people you never heard of before. Um, the only guy in it is the guy from The Terminator that is The Terminator. I don't know what his name is. I don't know if he's been in anything else, but he had, he was in, what was he in? Hang on. Robert Patrick is his name. He was in The Terminator. What? What? I just said Robert Patrick. Oh. I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? Did you really say that? I thought you said Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I didn't hear her, but she knew. I didn't know who that was. Uh, I'd look it up. And it was a good show. It's really fascinating. Um, I think there's 10 episodes. It's new on Netflix. <clears throat> It's one of those mini-series. It's about uh, um, CIA and FBI and all that kind of fun stuff, Secret Service. So it's really good, a lot of action, really good stuff. The acting is questionable, but that's okay. We'll give it a break because the story seems so good. Uh, watch one episode of that, and then here we are. We watched a couple of our YouTubers. A couple of YouTubers um, are at different events. One is actually over, Paging Mr. Morrow that we watch is actually over in London at a Star Wars event, and it looks really, really cool that he's over there. Good for him. Um, so anyway, it's closing in on midnight, tired, hitting the sack. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. Um, we are, um, on to Tuesday tomorrow, no meetings or anything, uh, no practice or anything in the evening to try to maybe get Philip's haircut. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. We'll figure something out. But anyway, thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. Have a great Tuesday. See you later. Also today I caught up on Succession, the HBO show. We're in season four, I think, the last season, three episodes in. Oh my gosh. Wow. Comment below if you've seen this uh, last episode, episode three. It happened on Easter too. Absolutely crazy. Um, huge, shocking twist. 
an amazing episode. Uh, we still got like seven left or eight left in the, in the season, which is the series as well. There's a lot to happen and uh, a big thing happened in the episode. So I'm not going to spoil it or anything because it just came out. <clears throat> I think the second time today I've done this. Uh, anyway, I, uh, I love that show. I, it, it's, um, I waited a couple weeks so I could just watch a few episodes at a time, but it was really, really, really good. Um, I think Heidi's never watched it. I think I'm going to try to talk her into watching it after we get done with, uh, the other show we just started. So anyway, had to drop that line in. Succession is one of the best shows out there. Really, really good. Sad that it's ending. Um, but it's, uh, Really, really fascinating. The episode that just came out was one of two episodes ever in TV to get a perfect 10 out of 10 when it was released, released on IMDb. The second to last Breaking Bad episode, I think. And then this one came out with a perfect 10 score. So, it's good.